Hey guys, we're here at the New York Auto Show 2019 and in front of me is the all new Audi Q3. We're gonna be going over the interior today. As you can see, this is an S-Line model and it has the optional Alcantara package that gives you this crazy orange accents. We'll be going over that more in detail in a second. Uh, upon, you know, first opening the interior, if you're comparing the last gen Q3, it could not be more different. Uh, everything just looks nicer. Every It's, you know, again, the, the old Q3 is dating back almost 10 years at this point, so it better be a big change, and it definitely is. You'll notice a lot of similarities uh, between the all new uh, Audi language, design language that you would see in the uh, A7, A8, and the A6, as well as the Q8. That definitely carries over to the new Q3, and it definitely helps out make it feel very premium inside. Uh, these are the S sport seats and you have a kind of a leather with an designed Alcantara inserts, which definitely hold you in place. Some people might not like them. Some people might like them more than others. Um, you have a diag center here as well, aluminum pedals. As far as materials, everything up here is somewhat soft, not much padding, but it is soft touch. You have an aluminum trim piece that goes straight into the door handle which is a very different interesting design um i've used it a couple times now it does work uh, it might not look like it works that well but it, it is designed pretty well and uh it does open a door very quickly then you do have as part of this optional package this stitched alcantara accents where your arm goes and that is padded and soft in here uh there is some cheaper harder plastics but that's to be expected on a lower end model. Um, this is actually uh, soft touch, either faux or real leather in here. And then you have the upgraded Bang & Olufsen down here in the speaker grills, trunk release button right here, uh, aluminum S side sills, which is part of the S-Line package. Jump in here, we got a flat bottom S steering wheel, which is the same steering wheel as you'd get in the SQ7 or S-Line. Uh, any of the S-Line SUVs, they got the chunky aluminum part right here. It looks very good and beefy. Um, you will get the 12.3-inch um, digital display in this model. Uh, I believe it starts with the 10-inch digital display as far as the base. Headlight controls are all new. They're fully digital now. And then you will notice that you do have the Audi MMI touch system that carries over from the higher end models. And what's different is the climate control is just like the last gen A3 where it's completely uh, analog. And I definitely find this to be a good thing. It's very easy to use, very familiar. It's no touch screen, there's no learning curve. And I kind of like the, the match between having the new touch screen as well as the analog climate controls, I think it's actually the perfect combination. Um, something that's a little different, if you were to go into search, you can see that instead of the bottom screen, like the other Audis, um, this top screen is where you would go to write um, the letters out. And it still can get um, more than one letter at a time. I'm, excuse my terrible writing there, but it's just like the newer gen Audi MMI systems where it's not one letter at a time anymore, it is still full letters and uh, I think they implemented that really well. One thing I do not like is the shifter. I think it looks very cheap and it's way too tall. I, I wish that they designed it shorter, made it look a little bit more sophisticated. And then over here you do have some hard button controls, Audi Drive Select, um, Auto Stop Start, your parking system and your automatic parallel parking. Down here is your two USB ports which would be for the smartphone interface. And this car does come with the Apple CarPlay system. I don't know if I can get in here. Let's see. And it says that you would have to connect the smartphone to the car's USB port. So I'm not sure if wireless CarPlay is supported. Uh, that would be awesome if it is. Let's see. I don't know if I can get there right now. Moving on, we have the Alcantara that goes across the dash. Um, again, that's a very unique feature and it gives the interior um, definitely a little bit of color and a little bit of pop. I obviously will say that they're probably mimicking the optional package in the uh, Volvo XC40 because they also have orange Alcantara in that car. Um, we might be seeing a new trend in these small SUVs like that. Uh, full LED interior, you got your panoramic sunroof, and again the S Sport seats with the S logo. 
Um, overall, huge improvement. There's your cup holders, uh, your uh, parking brake, decent sized storage bin. We'll go into the back now. So as we get into the back of the car, you can see that the materials carry over. Still got decently soft touch up here, same metal trim. We have the Alcantara on the door handles. Then you still have the cheaper plastic where you actually grab the door, which again, expected on this type of vehicle. Now these back row in the Q3, they do have the metal bar underneath uh, both sides, so you can slide it back and forth. And then you do have these little pulley cords here to actually recline the seats as well as fold them down. If I were to jump in here, the front seat was set to a decent driving position for myself, and you can see plenty of knee room. Again, I'm about 5'11". Uh, seats are definitely a little firm, but definitely doable and comfortable. Now, as far as sliding, you can see you can pull them forward, but in this all the way back position, plenty of room. Uh, you do have AC vents back here as well. Definitely a huge upgrade compared to the last gen Q3. And finally, we'll get into the trunk. I believe all Q3s for the American market will have the power trunk as standard, which is nice. There is this giant tonneau cover in the way, but as you can see, it's very deep, decent sized trunk, and that second row does fold completely flat, allowing for more storage. If you guys have any questions about the Q3, uh, feel free to leave comments. Thank you so much for watching.